Hello and welcome to World Currency Collector. Today we're traveling about 7,000 miles around the world to the land of the Kiwis to visit the beautiful country of New Zealand. It's located in the Pacific Ocean about 900 miles east of Australia. And New Zealand is separated by two islands known as the North Island and the South Island. Today we're going to examine five different notes from New Zealand. These are all polymer notes and they're all active in circulation today. We're also going to take a look at a Niue Hawksbill Turtle Silver Bullion Coin. So let's get right to it. Here's a five dollar note that was issued in 2015. Its primary colors are brown along the edges with a blue center and it features a portrait of Sir Edmund Hillary. On the left hand side, we can see an image of Mount Cook, the tallest mountain in New Zealand. It's 12,316 feet at its highest point. Hillary was a mountaineer. He was one of the first two individuals known to have been to the South Pole, the North Pole, and on the summit of Everest. Time Magazine named him one of the 100 most influential people of the 20th century. He even has a mountain range on Pluto named in his honor. The security features on this note include a color-changing penguin over here on the left. You can kind of see um, that it changes colors. There's kind of a fern inside too, a fern pattern inside of him. Um, but it does change colors as you shift it. It's pretty cool. And over here on the right side, there's a clear security window and it has a little shiny penguin on top and a map of New Zealand, some fern leaves, and the number five repeated um, many, many times in the window. Campbell Island is featured on the reverse of this $5 note. The penguin seen here is the Hoiho, or the yellow-eyed penguin, which is native to New Zealand. The Hoiho is officially endangered. It's a mid-sized penguin measuring 24 to 31 inches long and he weighs about 12 to 18 pounds. An, this type of penguin can live to be up to 20 years old and he likes to eat fish that live near the seafloor, especially cod and opal fish. Down below the penguin there is a flower called the Ross Lily, which is a mega herb. Mega herbs are a group of herbaceous perennial wildflowers growing in New Zealand in the sub-Antarctic islands. They're characterized by their great size with huge leaves and very large and often unusually colored flowers. The Ross lily grows up to 3.6 feet tall and has densely crowded golden yellow flowers which are present from October to January. It also produces fruit from December through March. On the back of this note, there's a color changing fern leaf on the right side. And when you hold this note up to the light, you can see the completed number five in red and blue ink from the front of the note. Kate Shepard is featured on the front of this blue and green $10 note from 2015. Kate lived from 1847 until 1934. She was a champion for women's suffrage in New Zealand, which was the first nation to allow women to vote in 1893. She believed that, quote, all that separates, whether of race, class, creed, or sex, is inhuman and must be overcome. There's also a white camellia next to her, which is the national symbol for suffrage in New Zealand. This note also has similar security features to the five. On the left hand side, there's a color changing bird. And on the right hand side, you'll see the clear window just like on the five, but this one has the numbers 10. The back of this $10 note features a river scene with a pheo or a blue duck, which is another endangered species. It's a dark slate gray duck with a chestnut colored breast. It has a pale bill with little fleshy flaps of skin that hang on from both sides. The male has a call known as an aspirated whistle and the female's is called a, grattle, a rattling growl. This note also has a color changing fern leaf on the right hand side. The 
this $20 note is a little bit older. It was issued in 1999. It's a green and orange polymer note with a portrait of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Behind her on the left is the Parliament Building in Wellington, along with a map of the outline of New Zealand. This note has two security windows on it. On the left hand side there's a fern leaf, and on the right there's an oval with the number 20 inside. This note also has a watermark of Queen Elizabeth II. The back of this $20 note has a bird called the Karea Rea, a near-threatened species and New Zealand's only falcon. It has a wingspan of 18 inches and can weigh up to one pound. It also features Mount Tapenuku and some flowers. This $50 note from 1999 is primarily pink and orange. It features a portrait of Sir Aparana Turupa Nagata and I apologize if I'm saying his name wrong. He was a prominent New Zealand politician and lawyer. He lived from 1874 to 1950. He was a member of New Zealand's parliament for 38 years and devoted his life to promoting and protecting the Maori culture and the language. To the left of him is Pororangi Meeting House at Weo Matitini Marais and I'm probably saying that wrong, on New Zealand's North Island. According to an essay written by Henrietta Kauai, quote, it took 12 years from 1852 to 1864 to build a house. When it was completed, it was truly a work of art. Each part of it is designated not only to display Maori skills, arts and crafts, but also to represent ancestral figures, elders, and warriors who performed great deeds for their people." End quote. The security features on this note are the same as for the $20 note, and it also includes a watermark of Queen Elizabeth II. The reverse of this $50 note shows the kokako, or blue wattled crow, a species from North Island, and the wattle is the part that's kind of on their chin, right underneath their beak. If this image were of the kokako from South Island, it would have orange wattles. New Zealand wattle birds have no close relatives apart from the stitch bird, and their taxonomic relationships to other birds remain to be determined. Their song is quite beautiful and can carry for several miles. Breeding pairs of kokako sing together in a duet for up to an hour every morning. Behind the kokako is a picture from Puriora Forest Park, one of the finest rainforests in the world. It was established in 1978 after anti-logging protests by conservation activists. Its land includes 190,000 acres that are very popular with mountain bikers and hikers around the world. Lord Rutherford of Nelson is the portrait that's featured on the obverse of this $100 note from 1999. It's primarily pink and orange with some brown hues. Lord Rutherford of Nelson is known as the father of the atom because his discovery of the radioactive half-life led to our current understanding of the atom. He won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1908. This note also has the same security features as the previous two, including the watermark of Queen Elizabeth II. The reverse of this $100 note is a mohua, or a yellowhead, which is found on South Island. It's an endangered bird, similar in size to a sparrow. The yellowhead was first documented in 1789 by Johann Frederick Mielen, a German naturalist, botanist, entomologist, herpetologist, and molecologist. Melan's publications are cited as the authority for over 290 bird species. The background shows a scene from Eglinton Valley in Fiordland National Park, which can be found in the southwest corner of the South Island of New Zealand. It's the largest of 14 national parks in New Zealand and a major World Heritage Site. Wildlife in the park includes dolphins, seals, and many birds. About 1,500 miles northeast of New Zealand is the country of Niue. 
Its culture is predominantly Polynesian. It's a self-governing state in free association with New Zealand, and its currency is officially the New Zealand dollar. It's the world's largest coral island. This one ounce silver coin features the bust of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II on the obverse. It also has the words Niue and two dollars. This example is from 2014. The reverse of this coin has a striking image of a hawksbill sea turtle swimming off to the right. This turtle has a conservation status of critically endangered. The hawksbill sea turtle typically grows up to three feet in length and weighs an average of 180 pounds. The turtle's shell has an amber color. It typically has a pattern of light and dark streaks of black and brown radiating out to the sides. What makes the hawksbill turtle unique from other turtles is that it has a beak-like mouth. This turtle likes to snack on venomous nadarians, which makes its own flesh toxic. It's also the first reptile ever to be shown to be biofluorescent, perhaps because of its unique diet of hard coral. They also like to snack on sponges, crustaceans, algae, and lots of fish. Since 2014, the New Zealand Mint has offered this hawksbill turtle silver coin as a world bullion coin. A bullion coin is struck from precious metal and is meant to be kept as a store of investment over time. This coin is 99.9% .9 pure silver, it's one ounce, and it has a face value of two New Zealand dollars, but the silver content makes it worth about 15 times that in today's market. Some investors purchase this type of bullion coin to diversify their portfolios, but other people like me just enjoy the coin for the design and because it's really shiny. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed our time together down in the land of the Kiwis of New Zealand. And I hope you learned something today from these beautiful notes. And we'll see you next time on World Currency Collector.